This week in science, we're at Science World, talking about dinosaurs. Now, the field of paleontology has been around for centuries, but we are still discovering new branches on the dinosaur family tree. And this latest one, even paleontologists are calling it bizarre. It comes from the mountains of Chile, where a team from South America worked through near hypothermia to dig out 80% of a preserved skeleton. It's a stubby, four-legged creature, measuring about two meters long from back to tail. They've dubbed it Stegeros elengasin. The last part is a nod to the mythology of local indigenous people, and the first part is in reference to its tail, which is the weird part about this animal. It looks kind of like a jagged cricket bat with seven pairs of blades adorning the sides. It's been compared to a macuahuito, a weapon used by ancient Aztec warriors to maim their opponents on the battlefield. And as the name implies, parts of the stegoros resemble a stegosaur. And while it is a close relative, it's actually a member of the ankylosaurs. They're the tanks of the dino family, and some of the last dinosaurs to show up on Earth before they all went extinct. They weren't very big or very fast, but they were able to survive alongside the fearsome Tyrannosaurus rex, thanks to thick bone armor plates and club-like tails probably used to fend off predators. When the Pangaea supercontinent broke apart about 200 million years ago, the ankylosaur family was split up too, between the continent of Laurasia in the north and Gondwana in the south. And this Stegeros finding suggests the two sides were sent along very different evolutionary pathways. In truth, we don't know a whole lot about the ankylosaurs that wound up in the south. This is the first time we found such a complete skeleton from one. So future trips into the mountains could yield even more bizarre creatures. With This Week in Science, I'm Curtis Doring, City News.